All right, everybody, welcome back to Obscure Rides Auction Review. Today we are looking at a 1986 GMC Caballero, also pronounced as Caballero. So Caballero in Spanish means uh, gentleman, or it could also mean horseman or knight. It's kind of like a play on the Spanish names for these uh, coupe utilities. Um, you had a uh, Ford Ranchero, which uh, in Spanish meant, meant rancher. And then you also have the El Camino, uh, which are, or also refers to El Camino Real, which is the King's Road. So it's kind of, kind of, um, kind of a little background there. Uh, but yeah, basically the GMC Cavalero is a rebadged El Camino. And this generation, which is from 78 to 87, uh, there are two different platforms. Uh, this is, this is going to be on the G body platform. So that's like a mid-size body on frame, rear wheel drive uh, vehicle or platform that GM made. And these were made until 1987, so this is a later Cavalero. And this one had numerous modifications. So let's take a little deep dive into this car. So being that this is Doug DeMuro's website, Cars and Bids, he does have his little snippet here, which says the Chevy El Camino is an iconic vehicle. The combination of a passenger car and truck and fantastically nostalgic vehicle for modern enthusiasts. Uh, this particular example is a GMC version, also called the Caballero. And it looks like a nice example. Its biggest benefit is a recently swapped 5.8 liter V8, which should offer a lot more power than the stock V8. But it also touts a built 4L60E transmission, upgraded transmission uh, suspension, and a gorgeous Sundance metallic exterior. This Cavalero is also offered with a clean, accident-free Carfax report and no reserve, which should make for an exciting auction finish. So just a little bit of history here. So Carfax starts in 91, has multiple gaps. Uh, factory equipment includes fog lights, air conditioning, power windows, locks, modifications are extensive. Uh, there's a full list below, but just a, a few highlights would be the L31 5.8 liter V8, Holly Street Avenger 670 carburetor, a 4L60E transmission, a 2.5 inch exhaust system with Flowmaster 40 series mufflers, a Yukon Limited Slip Differential, Bilstein Shocks, and that's a Toyota Metallic Paint Sundance. So the G-Body generation of the GMC Cavalero, the mechanical twin of the El Camino, was the final iteration of the Ute before it was discontinued in 1987. It was mechanically and aesthetically similar to the Chevy Malibu, which is true. So just a few little highlights. The Chevy Malibu had the taillights built into the bumper, just like this vehicle. So pretty sharp, nice color. Florida, you can get antique plates for, for any vehicle that's over 30 years of age in Florida. Pretty cool, looks really nice. Really nice paintwork on this car. Looks like you got a little bed liner in there. Your custom exhaust. Nice wheels, wheels look great on this. Pretty decent interior, very 80s, very GM 80s. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they typically had a column shifter, but being that this has the, this has a different transmission. So that I would say is true mileage unknown. We really don't know. Plus the engine changes everything, kind of makes it into a new car. But overall, the interior looks really clean. 
a little bit of use and a little bit of wear but overall pretty good there you go that's that's why people are looking at this car Wow, look at that underneath. Looks like a new fuel tank. Looks great underneath, new exhaust. Some docks, GM typical key of the era. Some extra parts with it. Not bad, not bad. Looks pretty nice. Got some videos, that's important. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Starts up pretty nice. It's a great sounding car for sure. Now it does have air conditioning, it does have power locks. It would be hard to know if the air conditioning works from afar. Car is in St. Pete's. And it looks pretty good. So that's a quick auction review of this 1986 GMC Cavalera. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.